Hello everyone and welcome to the Octi Spring SPE called Leading Your Future. This SPE has two components to it. The first component is a leadership certification and the second component is the SPE. If you are here just to do the leadership certification, you need to only complete modules one, two, and three. But if you are here for the SPE, you need to complete modules one, two, and three, as well as four, five, and six. I'm very excited to present this to you because we are working with um, a fantastic keynote speaker named Reza Ahab, and he is going to come to us live. It will be recorded if you're watching this at a, at a later date and speak to all of us about leadership and what it means to be a leader. So module one, if you are just interested in doing the leadership certification, you can click here or you can click here at the side and it will take you to that module where you will learn a little bit more about leadership. And while you're learning about leadership, you'll have the opportunity to watch a TED talk and you'll have the opportunity to work on some questions. Then you move on to module two, thinking about great leaders. This module is similar in the sense that we start with some reflective questions. We watch a couple of TED Talk videos and answer some questions afterwards and really start to think about um, how leadership looks different, possibly, or how leadership can look in our community or with us. The final component of the leadership certification is you as a leader. So now that we've learned from all of these fantastic people about leadership, you're now going to think about your own job as a leader, your own role as a leader in your home or your community or your school community, and you're going to do a leadership project. This leadership project is all here. It's based on uh, Brian Eastwood's article from a Northeastern University, How to Create a Personal Leadership Development Plan. You can click on the link here in order to pull up the original article, or you can look at all of the different um, components here, which I've outlined for you. So the idea is to come up with a leadership plan. Each of these headings, your writing only needs to be three to five sentences long. It's not meant to be a 20 page document. It's just meant to sort of plan out one area in your life where you feel you can take a leadership role. And then you're going to create a short presentation um, that can take the form of a PowerPoint, a Prezi, a web page, it could be video, and that's what you're going to be submitting to your SHSM lead teacher so that they can um, see that you've completed the leadership component of it. I have some reminders at the end what I want your presentation to include. So if you are here just for the leadership certification, your role is done now. You hand in your leadership project to your SHSM lead teacher, and then you're done. But if you are here for not only the leadership certification, but the SPE, you are going to click on the next module, which is Reza Ahab. He is a fantastic TED Talk speaker who we are so fortunate to have join us. And I've created this page so you can learn a little bit more about him. So all of these are clickable. You can find out more about all of his roles in these various um, societies. Um, you can also find out about some of his longer expeditions that he's done. I know currently, as I'm recording this, he is on Ellesmere Island on an expedition. And um, this YouTube video that talks about what it takes to trek to the South Pole. And um, the image you're seeing there is definitely butter and bacon. And he will explain that <laughs> in his video. Um, there's another great video here from the National Geographic Society, um, Canadian Geographic Society, I apologize. Um, that's all about what kind of gear he wears in order to do these sort of polar expeditions. And, um, and then a wonderful YouTube video where he talks about why he does what he does and the whole idea of the pursuit of happiness. And I really love this quote from Ray. I truly believe we're all capable of the extraordinary in our lives. And so this just introduces you to him um, before he comes and speaks. So I would highly recommend that you click on all of these various videos 
and um, learn more about Ray before he comes to speak with us that day or before you watch his, pre, uh, his recorded um, keynote speech. Then we move on to the Community Partner Challenge videos. These videos are set up based on your sector. So um, depending on the sector you are interested in exploring, so if you're in arts and culture, there's a fantastic video from Shaw Festival. Business, uh, the Royal Bank of Canada did a video for us. Environment was made by the Bruce Trail Association. Um, health and Wellness was created by Hamilton Health Sciences. Justice was fully involved. Uh, we have a video coming soon for ICT. Uh, we also have a fantastic video for the nonprofit from Camp Quality, a national children's cancer camp, and there's a sports video coming soon. We're still in the process of getting those edited, but you're going to click on the video that represents your sector, and you're going to learn a little bit about the organization or the role that that person plays in the organization, and then at the end, they're going to give you a challenge. Um, so in all SPEs, we're interested in facing a real world challenge as students. And so you'll watch the video, learn about the people or the organization. You can rewatch it as many times as you like. And then at the end, they're going to give you a challenge. That challenge is going to be what you're going to work on for the next portion, which is the ice steps. And so one of the biggest components of the SPE is the ice challenge. Um, some People do coding challenges and some do math. For this, we have decided to do with innovation, creativity, and entrepreneurship. And so all students uh, will be reminded of the things that they have learned. They're going to learn what an ICE challenge is, and then they're going to start to share stories and think about what they heard in the videos and how that could maybe impact some of the leadership things that they have learned about. Then they're going to go through and uh, you're going to go through an ideation and prototyping where you're going to think of all the possibilities to um, meet the challenge that has been given to you. And you're going to separate everything out into things that I've seen before, things that could be fun or things that could be a radical change. So all of the solutions you're coming up with can be categorized under those three categories. Then you're going to prototype. So you're going to draw, write it out, think about all the details that might go into this plan of yours. Then you're going to get some feedback. And sometimes feedback is um, hard to take because people will say, have you not thought about this or that? And you have to go back a bit to the drawing board and fix your plan. But the feedback portion is incredibly important because by allowing other people to see our plan and our solution to this community partners problem, it allows us to maybe see the whole picture. We're not having any um, spots where we're missing information or where we've not considered something. And so feedback is incredibly important. Then you're going to create a pitch and it's between you and your lead teacher what your pitch is going to look like, but it needs to have three components, the process, the product, and the sell. And then of course I go on to explain what the process, the product, and the sell is. Your pitch does not have to be incredibly long. We're looking for a pitch that is somewhere around one to five minutes. And um, some of you will create a fantastic short one minute pitch and others will need the full five minutes to get all of their ideas out. And so you're going to present your pitch to your SHSM lead teacher. Maybe they want it in video form, maybe they want you to create a PowerPoint or a Prezi, or maybe they just want you to present in front of them. Whatever your lead teacher has decided works for your program, that is how you're going to present your pitch. We are interested, however, in taking these ideas back to our community partners. So we're asking you and your lead teachers to consider emailing some of your solutions to Octi so that we can forward them to our community partners and possibly they can incorporate some of your solutions into the problem that they're facing. These are real problems that they have in their business and they're actually looking for solutions. So the follow through is that we would love for you or your teacher to share some of your solutions with the Ontario Council for Technology in Education because we want to help these business partners come up with solutions for their challenge. And once you have presented your pitch, you have completed not only the leadership certification for your SHSM, but the SPE challenge. 
This SPE challenge will likely take you about six hours to complete. Um, the leadership should probably take you about two to two and a half hours to complete. And so it's really important that you put the time and effort into creating a fantastic presentation and pitch at the end. It's really important that you're selling your idea to this community organization, that you're making sure that they hear all of these fantastic creative solutions that you've come up with for them. I hope that helps everyone navigate this leadership certification and spring SPE challenge. Thank you.